Hi there, I'm John from CNCROI.com and today we're going to make a simple acrylic jig. My company has made a lot of custom jigs using a variety of different materials. In this case here it's quarter inch acrylic, as you can see by the bright blue color. And there are some things that you need to watch out for that we've learned over the years of making custom jigs uh, to produce a really nice jig. Now with acrylic, you got to consider that it's plastic and when plastic is heated it actually tends to bend. So when we cut this, you can see the laser going from the top here down. What we don't see is the huge amount of fire underneath that's trying to work its way back up. We have a vacuum table, we have, air com uh, we have compressed air, we have a lot of things to minimize that flame underneath that tends to warp the acrylic, but it still tends to happen. And if you look at the video very closely, what you'll see is one way around that is to cut out this one and then this one, and this one and then this one, and this one and this one, instead of cutting them all right next to each other so that the acrylic has time to cool a little bit uh, under the heat. The other thing we do is we hold it down uh, all around um, where it tends to want to bend the most. What we'll do now, we'll take a look at industrial laser producing this acrylic jig. Even with all the conditions that we add to produce a really nice jig, you sometimes end up with a little bit of a bowing. This one here has a very slight bow to it, but it's not a big deal. 
And the reason is, uh, when the customer will get this, what they'll do is use double-sided tape, put it here, 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 and all you do is press it down and flatten it, and generally that's all you need to flatten out the acrylic. Uh, some other issues that you need to be concerned about with acrylic is if you make something big like this here, for instance, um, we probably could not make something with this quarter inch with this many holes using this one here. This one here is three mil or one eighth, so it's about half the thickness. And that's a very important factor when it comes to making acrylic jigs because the thinner it is, the less dwell time or the less time the laser sits there trying to burn a hole through the acrylic. So if it's half the thickness, it's going roughly twi twice as fast cutting out the various parts from the acrylic so therefore you have half the amount of heat underneath that builds up. Other material options for acrylic um, include doing it multi-layered. And this is, might be a little bit dirty here just because we use it for a lot of different projects. So here we have 1 8 and 1 8 or 3 mil and 3 mil. And the bottom, as you can see here, and the top. So this one, it, of course, had some bowing issues with it as well. But the way around that is to basically stick two pieces of acrylic together and then you create a solid acrylic uh, sheet um, and it doesn't bow at all. And the nice thing about that, it has additional weight. That's something to consider as well, because like for this jig here, if you're putting something heavy on it, all these things will weigh down the jig. Uh, the bowing and that kind of stuff is very, very minimal, and it's very easy to push down. So it's not like uh, you have a you know, piece of three quarter inch pine that's bowed or warped this way, and you can't really do anything to fix it. With acrylic, there's a lot of give and take with it. What we'll do now, we'll take a look at us making another acrylic jig. I'd say the vast majority of the jigs that we make are done in acrylic. Um, it's just a nice color. Um, it's really easy to work with. It's easy to clean, uh, depending on the application. But we also make them out of MDF. So here's an example here. This is three millimeter or one eighth inch MDF jig. Uh, here's another one. Uh, this one's a two layered one. So quarter inch plus quarter inch. And we use this one for other custom projects here in the shop for some of our customers. So when it comes to custom jig production, there's a lot of different options. Let me show you some other ideas. So this, we, have, we use a lot of jigs here in the shop. Here's another jig here. This one's about three years old and it's, you know, it broke over here a little bit, but it's not a big deal. We use this for our stainless steel uh, or anodized uh, business cards. So we put all the business cards in here and we the laser make them. And here's another one. And this is for dog tags. And this one's a two layered one, as you can see. And the nice thing about having something that's two layered is that while the machine, in this case here, our Austrian CNC laser, is making one batch of dog tags, we have another one like this that we could fill up or empty. And that's also why we have holes here because Nothing worse than going like this and then nothing comes out. 
If something gets stuck for whatever reason, uh, we can put our finger through it and pop it right out. So I hope that answers a lot of the questions you might have regarding custom jig production. If you need one, contact me at cncroi.com. <laughs>